Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Nat 20, or Bat 20, our Halloween special for episode four. Uh, where we left off on the last episode, we had the golf cart that Kenneth, William, Jessica, and Riku were driving our way back from the church after they formulated a plan, had an inspiring speech that is in no way just copying Braveheart's speech. Uh, and uh, they were making their way back to the Great uh, the great Hall, the main hall, the great when hall. they almost had a run-in, or technically did have a run-in, with uh, Sebastian's character brother Ferguson, who is now a real boy after sacrificing Justin to the Dark Lord. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they crashed into the each other. One of the golf carts was incapacitated. And then uh, after a, a small altercation between each other, uh, Brother Ferguson drove off, abandoning the rest near the showers after they all heard Trent's supposed scream in the woods to the north by the abandoned cabins, which we, as the viewers, know is actually just Gage's character, Todd, mimicking him so he can try and trick someone. Where we left off was Scary Gary unknowingly <laughs> confronting uh, Todd alone in the woods, setting up a trap to try and behead, so- uh, behead someone, I assume? Either behead or just trip them so that I can get a... Yeah. Uh, Gary was... Disoriented, uh, but was still a little confused and asked a little too many questions. And where we left off, uh, Todd had just slashed at him with the axe. Okay, so roll to hit. So the axe to hit is plus one and then plus my strength? Yes. Okay, that's a 16. 16, that hits, so deal damage. Goodbye, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> no one will miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah he didn't get it. a short rest. <laughs> I just want to be friends with him. That is three regular damage and then three poison. Would you roll it for damage? One and a three. No, 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 but like die wise. Oh, uh, d8 and d4. That's unfortunate. So six total? Yeah. Okay, he's not dead. Uh, but you go to swing and he kind of like turns his shoulder and accepts the hit into his arm. And your axe sinks in deep, and you can, like, feel, as you yank it out, the rust, like, scraping against his flesh. And he lets out, like, a blood-curdling scream, and, like, tries to, like, thinks about, like, hitting you or something. But then he's like, this has been a really rough day. Uh, and he immediately runs, tries to run past you. So that's an attack of opportunity. That is an attack of opportunity. This guy's not genre savvy. That is. <laughs> and he has reduced zero movement right now. Oh, you're Sentinel. Yeah. Oh, you fucking... What the, what the fuck? Uh, Are you adding your strength as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ten damage. Ten... Oh, my God. Uh, Gary's looking pretty fucked up. Uh, as he tries to run by you, he notices the string you put up. He almost forgot about it, so he falters a little bit, and it gives you enough time to wheel, roll around and slash at his back with the axe, which knocks him forward, and he doesn't move. He's disoriented. Uh, he turns... With his arm, and he tries to hit you across the face, just so he can try and run. Uh, 14? That hits. That hits? Okay, so he deals... Uh, 6 damage. Jesus. As he the punch whops you across the face, yeah. Well. He's got good strength. Um, so you stagger back as he hits you, and for a moment you see stars, uh, but he, he's zero movement feet. So. Yeah, I hit him again. Slice again? Okay, roll to hit. Uh, that is 16. That hits. Is ten plus ten plus two poison. Oh, he's dying. <laughs> R.I.P. Gary. Uh, scary Gary lunges back as you swing, um, but it's not fast enough, and your the blade cuts straight across the front oh, of his throat. God. Uh, it's rusted. It's disgusting. It's not a clean cut. You see jagged pieces of flesh, and his blood begins to pour out, and he just falls on his back dead. Okay. You have murdered Scary Gary. I will try to hide his body a little bit of ways from where we, the altercation happened. Okay. Uh, survival check. See how well you can hide it. 16. 16? Okay, you, you find some uh, loose dead wood, you find some leaves and branches, and you just kind of hide his body under that. Uh, and you think you've done a bang up good job. Much better than the hooks in the yeah. ground, that's anyway. <laughs> uh, make a perception check. 11. 11? Uh, you see nothing. Okay. Uh, what's the plan? Uh, I'm just gonna 
finish making that trap. Or actually, it was finished before. Yeah, right? I, yeah. I, 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 I'd say you were done. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to hide in one of the trees nearby. Okay, cool. Uh, then we'll go back to... You want to stealth check at all? Or not? Uh, maybe, yeah, actually, good call. 26. You uh-huh. melt into the shadows. <laughs> all right. He's uh, scary, man. Picking them off <laughs> one by one. Uh, go to you guys by the showers. Yeah. You're on foot. Uh, there's steam coiling up from the crumpled engine of the golf cart. You can hear <clears> this <throat> quiet hoot of an owl. Uh, as far as you know, you guys are alone. You know, Philip is dead. The cabin, the main hall, as told by Ferguson. You don't know where Justin is. Apparently, Trent is missing, as is Scary Gary. Uh, there's a killer still on the loose. And you don't, what are you going to do? What's the plan? Is there anything in the golf cart you can take with us? No. no. It was empty. Unless you guys put anything in there. I don't think you did. No. no. Okay. I still just want to get to the main hall. We're at the main yeah. hall? You should just head to the main hall. Yeah, let's go. Jessica nods. She says, That's probably the best idea. Maybe we can use the radio. <laughs> Hopefully... Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Kenneth. <laughs> Riku, come on, let's go to the main hall. So you guys are heading up to the main hall again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Keep my a- eyes out for anything suspicious. Yeah, I got my aura at the ready. Yeah, Good make these guys. perception checks. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20? Ooh, six. Six. Uh, you see a glint of red on the white tile of the entrance to the boy shower upon closer inspection it is a smear of blood hold on guys just wait there's blood over here and I doubt it's one of ours uh oh <laughs> <laughs> Jessica shakes her head I'm a fucking idiot yo why <laughs> what's wrong with Jessica dude <laughs> you're saying it. the dumbest things <laughs> Okay, she says, uh, it'll be okay, it'll be fine. Maybe if there was something in there, it would have come out by now, right? We should check. She pulls out an arrow and notches it. She says, Kenneth, you first. (laughs) (laughs) You're the strongest one here, Kenneth. I'll watch your back. Uh, I say, Jessica, babe, maybe you should go in first. I'm fu- I'm You're very sh- a strong and independent woman, <laughs> and I think that you would be the best off heading there in there first. I'm gonna try to like. I'm feeling persuade. Yeah, roll a persuasion check, and then we'll get to you. Okay. Uh, fourteen. <laughs> fourteen. Uh very good, but not quite enough. Um, she smiles. She says. Listen, I appreciate the compliment, and I like that you're a f- pro-feminism. That's a movement I support. I'm not going in the fucking showers. <laughs> you go first. There's a could be someone in there who's trying to cut my head off. I'm suddenly feeling super brave, so I'm going to stealth and go inside. Roll a d4. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. He just stands uh, there. Tell us? <laughs> no, dude. I have a hard time talking to people. Three. You rush forwards and make a strength check. Oh, no. And you... Uh, William, make a strength check. I got a two. A two? Or no, sorry, a six. I can't math. What is going on? I got a two. <laughs> yes! You are expecting it, and you feel a pair of hands pushing the back of your shoulder blades, oh, and you're no. shoved forwards into the shower first, stumbling over yourself as Riku pushes you in, <sighs> and says in a slightly oh, deeper shit. voice, No way! You first, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> what?! <laughs> Get in there, motherfucker. <laughs> well, Kenneth, shut up. Come on. I fucking... Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Riku. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I still... Uh, I'll search the showers. I'm right there. With Luckily, there's nothing here. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Well, there is something here. And mm-hmm. as you look around, uh, it's dark, but once your eyes adjust... You can see... I, ro- fly- I shine my flashlight around the place. <laughs> oh, right. You turn your flashlight on, and a ro- to the left side, it's like a small hallway. Uh, there's a bunch of different stalls, about six of them, showers. On the right side, it's just a gr- uh, it's just the wall, and then there's a far corner wall where Trent is hanging from the thing, a metal bar shoved through his left eye and oh impaled in the wall. Um, he's dead. Poor, oh, sweet, what? sweet Trent really? is dead. You don't think he gets to write that? No. 
Blood streaming down, dripping from the tips of his toes. Oh, God, dude. Bye, Trent. The what metal you, bar lodged so deep, um, you can't even see his eye underneath at all. What do you see in the showers? What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, like, <clears throat> peeks around the corner. Is it safe? I'll I'll w- walk out of the showers and I'll just be like, Trent's dead. Don't look. <laughs> Trent's in there? Make a small Yeah, check. don't go in. <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's not come good on. Okay, fine. We'll do performance. Okay, okay. That's not great. That's a five. Jessica doesn't even notice oh, you. Uh, I get that a say? lot. I, I asked him if Trent was in there and he said, yeah. yeah. I was like, it's not a good sight. Don't go in there. My boy Trent! <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> you guys all take but, a moment. Actually... Roll intelligence checks. <laughs> Everybody. Oh my god, I can't roll fucking shit today. That's a zero. I have three <laughs> and minus three, so that's a zero, dude. I You have a brain down here. <laughs> <laughs> you start to have a seizure and no. Blood I got a nine. Brain. Got a nine? I got a five. Luckily fucking Jessica's here. Uh, <laughs> she rolled a fifteen. She says, if Trent's here, then what was that scream? I was definitely not Trent. Do you think that was Todd? Or maybe the killer can scream. No, it was definitely Todd. He he can mimic voices. He tried doing that to me earlier when he fucking shot me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, are you salty? <laughs> She's like, a whoa, don't bite my head off. Uh, she says, well, um, the hell, we're not, we should probably try and save Ferguson. I mean, he's heading up there to look. He's walking into a trap. I think he'll be fine by himself. No, it's gonna save me. You guys are cold. <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> he also was being kind of a chode earlier. <laughs> so I threw the whore at him. I also fucking missed Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica gives you a comforting hug. Don't worry, man. It's okay. I hate Maybe that. Scary Gary will play with some pigskin with you later. <laughs> I like start crying. <laughs> the fuck you, Jessica. I'm just like I'm crying on her shoulder, but I'm just... you know what? <laughs> That's too good, bro. She 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 gives you as comforting hug as she can. She feels you start to like ball into her shoulder. Um, where's the plan now, you guys? Group right. hug. <laughs> okay, you all hold up together. It feels good. I, I want to get involved, but I just can't. <laughs> so I stand there by myself, feeling ex- excluded once again. I'm going to change my course and go to my cabin. Was that because you found out Trent is dead? Because you don't know Trent is dead. No, I don't know Trent is dead, but I have a different idea. Okay, you're cabin seven, right? I'm cabin eight. Oh, then you're not far. Okay. Okay. Um, you speed off. You suddenly think of something. You're like, oh. I should go to my cabin. So you take a left turn instead of a right turn, and you start making your way back towards cabin seven or eight. Sorry. Okay. It doesn't take you long to get there on the golf cart, speeding probably like two minutes, three minutes, and you're there, screeching to a halt. Uh, I'm gonna turn the car off, take the keys. I'm gonna go inside. You can't. The door is locked. <laughs> Shit. That's right. <laughs> I don't even know that too. You're well, confused. You're like. Could have sworn I untied this. <laughs> okay. Um, well, weirdly enough, you see that? blood on one of the side windows. All right, I'll inspect that window. You look inside. The window's not locked. You can push it open if you want. You see inside. The looks like someone was rummaging around, and then crawled through the window. I'll crawl through the window myself to get inside. Okay. Um, and then I'll I'll free the door open. Yeah, you untie that. It's a much nicer knot than you had done. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help but commend whoever made this. Yeah. Um, and I'll search for anything that seems like it'd be helpful gear. So um, uh, food, I guess, now. Cause I, I need to uh, the only food is probably in Trent's trunk. I'm going to whip that bad boy you open. You find a second bag of trail mix. Nice. Oh, is his first bag in his backpack? Yep. Score. <laughs> two bags of granola bars, or sorry, two two, bags. two bars of granola bar, two <laughs> granola bars, two bars of granola, <laughs> and one vanilla yogurt, French vanilla. 
Ooh, we should crumble up a granola bars and make a parfait. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me yeah. just stop right now. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. the whole place has been picked. No weapons, no nothing. No supplies. All right, well, um, what about clothing-wise? Uh, there's your dresser has your clothes in it. All the other dressers still have clothes in it. I just said priest clothing. It's boring. Yeah, you have multiple black shirts. Uh, always have, like, three extra collars, just in case. You get blood on it. Uh, and then uh, some nice pair of jeans. Trent, you have a bunch of anime shirts. There's that one sweater that just has a Higao faces. Oh, God. Yeah. Trent, what a God. disaster. What a fucking reason. <laughs> right. oh, I have um, 20 of the same white shirt. Yeah. Uh, fair, weird enough, uh, Williams is just kind of creepy. It's just <laughs> the same clothes. You thought yours was weird, but it's just the same shirts, the same pants. Uh, I'm gonna change into some clean clothes. Where are the yeah, I got What are you, my stuff? What no, are you gonna wear? This is my stuff. My, my, okay. my, my pre- oh, wait, you hear I a calling some... in the distance, like, wear me. <laughs> you swear it was the Eagles wear. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, uh, yeah, you get changed. You, you feel, feels good to put on fresh clothes, like the, the sap. It just oh, feels yeah. super feels nice. I'm experiencing life over here. It's nice. You can smell blood, fire. <laughs> And the cool air, it's, it's wonderful. All right, uh, I've done what I need to do then. I'm going to pop back in my golf cart, and I guess I kind of lost where that sound came from. Or do I still understand the general direction? of? Right you knew it was coming from the abandoned cabins. Abandoned cabins? Yep. All right, um, yeah, I guess that's what I'll drive to next then. Okay. Uh, you make your way to your golf cart, make a perception check. Shit. T. Bad. Uh, 14. Yeah, 14. Um, you are caught by surprise. Oh boy. As you feel something grab you by the back of the neck. So I need you to make a strength saving throw. Being buried this time. <laughs> Life is short now. There we go. It's, uh, That's 15. 15. Oh no, 16. 16? Yeah. You feel a pair of cold, dead hands wrap around the back of your neck and squeeze hard, and you're hoisted up into the air as the hulking figure that has been stalking you throughout the entire evening lifts you up and throws you towards the cabin wall. And you take... Game over. Yeah, you're not looking so hot, buddy. Uh, (laughs) Ten points of bludgeoning damage as you crash into the wooden siding. And you're disoriented, but... You feel like you can get back up. Your face feels like you've been hit by a fucking wall, which you have. Uh, and you turn and you see the hulking figure looking towards you with a new play toy. He has a axe in his hand. Uh, is he in the way of my golf cart? Yes, he's between you and the golf cart. Shit. He looks as imposing and beautiful as ever. In my opinion. All right, I guess I'm going to run. Dive through the window. You're going to try and run? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run. I guess an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I think that's fair. Does a 20 hit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's going to slash at you with his axe. Okay. 17 uh, points of slashing damage as the axe rakes across <coughs> between your shoulder blades. But you manage to keep going. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to run. I got I to gotta, gotta go free. I'm going to... Where am I? I'm in the cabin area... Well, I'm being attacked. I'm gonna say screw everything, and I'm I'm gonna run to the hall. I guess the hall just seems. You're gonna try and make your way to the hall. I don't know where else to go. So yeah. Okay, you feel like a blazing pain at your back where he cut you. Uh, You realize it's not too deep, which is it's good, but it hurts like hell. But a part of you smiles because you feel something. But a part of you is also feeling fear, which you haven't felt in a long time, and you take off running up the pathway. You turn, you look behind you, he's there walking at that fucked up leisurely pace. Doesn't seem to lose any ground, though, as you make your way up towards the showers and from there the main hall. You're running, it's getting harder to run, you're not used to having to breathe, so I need you to make an athletics check. Fifteen. Fifteen. You managed to power through it, though you're panting like a dog by the time you hit the showers. You look behind you and he's gone. Once more, disappeared. He's just gone? He's gone. Okay, I'm going to take my med kit and patch that 
Freaking fracking wound up. Okay, hit a medicine check for me. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, eight. No, seven. Seven? Uh, 1d6. Uh, three? Yeah. Three hit points. Sweet. Okay. We're alone. Because you guys left, yes? Yeah, well, that was all happening. Yeah, we yeah, checked yeah, out you, the bathroom, and then we've probably gone towards the hall. Just yeah, you, you're you long gone. I'm just going to continue my hall. You're going to go to the hall as well? Okay. Uh, back to you, Todd. Todd Toddly just got a great idea. He's going to go back to the body of Gary and put on his clothes. Oh, I'm going to take it put on his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that is what. <laughs> He's on his face. Uh, you're dressed <laughs> as Gary. His clothes are a little bloody from the trickling of his ear before. So there's flex on the shoulder. And then there's a giant stain across his fucking chest from the gaping wound in his throat. But you managed to put on the shirt just fine. Okay. Uh, and would I have heard any of the noise from the cart going away or towards here? No, it would have been no. too far for you to hear. Okay. Plus you were fighting Gary. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kind of memorize where I am right now and where my trap is, and then I'm just going to go a bit closer to the trail. And head back towards the trail? Yeah, just to see if I can see anyone or hear anyone. Uh, make a perception check. That's zero. Zero? Shit, nothing. <laughs> You've been here for almost an hour. Like, where the hell is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Set up this perfect trap for nothing? So you, nothing. You hear, you see nothing. Okay. I'm going to go back to my trap, unwind it, and then... Make my way... Um, as you get there, um, Gary's body is gone. Okay. <laughs> Find this really odd. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just... I take out the gun and just make sure it's... I have it ready just in case something happens. Cool. And I, like, try to... Uh, be perceptive to anything, to everything around me. Okay. Uh, are you staying put? Or are you heading anywhere? Or? Uh, I'm gonna probably head a bit closer to the hall. Probably, I think. You're gonna cut to the woods there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you make your way. It's eerily quiet again. Like nothing. You hear nothing. No twig snapping. No bird calls. No like scuffling of animals. Just you and the breeze. Um, it's getting harder to see. It gets darker and darker. Um. Probably another ten minutes later, trudging through the branches, you can see like the glow of the main hall. Okay. Uh, so you know you're pro- you're not far. Uh, roll another perception check. It's a three. Three. Still, you feel like almost scary alone right now. Okay. You know everyone else is in a group. You know there's another murderer. Uh, you're usually pretty confident when you go to these places and you you and exact your uh, revenge mm-hmm. upon the campers, but uh. For some reason, you feel less sure of yourself. Okay. Uh, hmm. So, like, this here is the main hall, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Huh. You can see the two outhouses and the light. Do I see any movement, like, in the main hall or anything With the like three that? perception? No. Okay. See nothing. But uh, you know this is... Probably a good place to catch up with the others. Yeah. I'll probably just hide near the outhouses. Just okay. in the dark behind them. Okay. Uh, and you four, Jessica, Kenneth, Will, Riku, you would arrive uh, just a little bit before you would get there. Okay. But uh, you guys have made it to the hall. The door is still open from when Ferguson ran. Uh, stepping inside, you see he was truthful about Philip. Philip is impaled to the mantel- <laughs> mantelpiece. Blood still streaming down his feet and legs. Uh, the machete torn through the back of his throat. Um, dead quiet, just the flickering of flames. <coughs> oh, um, when everyone went through the door, I stay back just for a quick minute and go around the corner and I have a swig. That's your last one, right? Uh... uh uh, or uh, no, you're not. You have uh, you that have was number three. Yeah, so you have two, two more. What? Mm-hmm. Let's compromise. And give you two more. Okay. 
I take the machete. You take the machete? I ask Jess where the... Philip's body falls to the ground. Radio radio is. Is. Oh, sure. Sorry, she, says, she says, um, it's upstairs. Uh, hopefully, I, if Justin really is missing, hopefully he fixed it. Or we'll have to try and fix it ourselves. I don't know. Uh, now that you guys are inside, regroup. You can take a short rest if you want to. Okay. What are the stats in the machete? Machete is a plus two nice. one-handed weapon. Deals one d six plus your strength. Plus two. Yeah, it's a plus two. Cool. Plus your strength. Shit. Cool shit. But yeah, you guys are here. You have a moment of rest if you want. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you going upstairs? Huh? Yeah, I'm checking out the radio room. Okay, you head upstairs. You're right. The sports equipment room looks kind of pick clean. Uh, the bedroom for Philip and Justin are both empty, untouched, really. Uh, the final room is where the radio room is, and it's an interesting sight. Uh, the radio is shattered into pieces. Cords sitting like they've recently been tied around in knots or just laying in a corner. Uh, there are some weird drawings on the ground that look f- pretty faded. You're not sure what they Do are. I recognize that they're the same drawings from the cabin. Uh, make an intelligence check. Or investigation. Yeah, investigation. Eight. Eight? They... It's too hard to tell. Okay. Otherwise, the room is empty. There's nothing in it. Nothing of value you can see. But the radio is beyond repair. It's completely ruined. I pick it up and I throw it off the balcony. Okay, you hear a... Whoa! As Jessica has to jump out of the side. Fuck! As it hits the ground beside the fireplace and shatters into more pieces. She goes, Why would you do that? It was broken already, don't worry. Oh my... Who broke it? I don't know, but there's some weird fucking drawings in here. Drawings? Do Do you think it's the same guy who's been going around killing people with the machete? I mean, it could be. I don't know. I doubt Todd would have had the time to come here. Who knows, though? No, Kenneth means the big dude in the flannel shirt, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Kenneth. Uh, <laughs> shit. Philip's dead. Justin's fucking missing. Trent's fucking dead. Oh, Ness is fucking dead. Oh, my God, man. Oh, the yes. priest is fucking dead. Todd's a psychopath. Surrounded by dudes. <laughs> <laughs> What do you what what do you guys think we should do? We could head to the archer range and get more arrows or does anyone have a phone? I found this phone number. You found a what? <laughs> I found a phone number. What phone number? Give me that. She takes it from you. Look, who's Clyde? I don't I don't know. In case of emergencies. This is emergency! <laughs> I'll discreetly check if I have service. Uh one tiny bar. Cool. I'm like let me see that phone number. Do you have a phone? I might, yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> might. She, just gives, she gives you the phone number. Shitty reception. You might not get the call through. All right. Is there a roof? Is there a way to get up on the roof? No way to get on top of the roof, but you could stand like near the window on the second floor. Sure. I'll do that. I'll the bar doesn't change. I'll go with still, you. It's still one bar. Okay. Am I able to see him standing on the window still? Ah... Uh, Kenneth, give me, give me a boost. I guess we can have you re-roll your perception because they've come outside now, sort Jeez. of. God. Four. You can't see them. I see <laughs> nothing at all this entire time. <laughs> yeah, <that's how> I <laughs> fucking feel that. I've been rolling like ass too. Um, roll a percentage check. See if your phone call goes through. Okay. Did you want me to give you a boost? You yes. need to get under 20 for it to work. <laughs> Up on my shoulders. Maybe it will get better service that way. You do that? Yeah. yeah. Two bars. Oh, oh God. Now you got to get it under 30. 50. Uh, it starts, like, it sounds like it's going to work, and then all of a sudden you hear the beep, 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 beep. Not quite enough service. Okay. I'll keep trying. Okay, roll again. 45. 45. <laughs> beep, 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 <laughs> beep. Uh, panic, panic begins to set in. I'm going to try one more time. One more time. And then that's Maybe it. try restarting your phone. 16. 16. You hear a... A vo- an automated voice. Long distance charges may apply. Oh my god! Uh, but then <laughs> it, it starts to ring, and you hear like a ring, 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 and then you hear a gruffled voice pick up. He goes, "Who's this?" This is uh, Detective William Somerset. Uh, I'm gonna need some help. Oh my god! With what? 
I'm at Camp Fear right now. I found this number uh, telling me to call if there's any emergencies. Camp Fear! Yes. Where's Nicholas? The only person at that camp share my number is Nicholas. <laughs> yes. Um, he's gone. He's dead. There's a fucking murderer here. He's fucking dead? <laughs> yes. Stay with me. Clyde, was it? <laughs> Clyde's my name. I'm gonna need you to call uh, Precinct 69 and tell him <laughs> I'm here. There's absolutely no, there's no way a call like that'll go through. I got, I'm in a lodge not far from camp. I'm a hunter. I could come down. I got some guns. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's really all you can do to help, then sure. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'll get my quad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clyde. Do you know Camp Fear? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally a five minute drive away. Cool. We're, we're in the main cabin. Do not trust anyone other than me. I don't even know what you look like, though, bro. <laughs> I'm the guy with a bulletproof vest and the fucking cop badge. That's fair. That should, indicate, <laughs> that should be a fair indicator. I could be a cabin in 20 minutes. Stay put. Okay. I'll bring... How, how big is this murder guy? Huge. <laughs> I'll bring all the guns. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'm like, thanks for the help. And I'll hang up. Yeah. How did it go? So good news. Uh, <laughs> there's, you down. there's some more guns on the way. <laughs> Bad news is that we're here by ourselves. For 20 minutes. For, yeah, for 20 minutes. As always. That's uh, a little harsh, as but. As you're leaning outside, make perception checks. It's a high DC, but. Oof. My first low roll. <sighs> I got an 11. Uh, One, six, but does it involve hearing or something? No, it's sight. Okay. No one sees you. You're okay. still safely hidden. Uh, Ferguson, you're heading up the path. You see them on the... No, actually, make a perception check. You'd also have to know if you can see them. 19. You see them on the, the second floor, kind of like lifting each other up <laughs> outside near the window, and you can see like uh, William talking on the phone, and then they disappear back into the window. I pull out my flare gun. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you know they're in there now. Okay. Oh, no. I go in. You go in? I go in. I'm injured. I'm near. I'm like about to die. Yeah, Jessica sees you walk in. She goes, oh, so now you want to show up? When we got guns on the way? Where's your golf cart? <laughs> Fucking Vin Diesel. Uh, <laughs> I ignore her and I brush past her. I'm in too much pain. Oh, um, oh, little baby got hurt on his little trip in the woods. I pull on my flare gun and I point it at her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I'm a little stressed out. I put it away. What happened to you then? Uh, I'm starting to learn what pain's like. That's what's happening. What the fuck <laughs> does that mean? Do Zach and I... Yeah, you guys would have made it downstairs by the time he got in. So. Okay. I'm just kind um, of watching him from the second story. Okay. I see. Oh, Ferguson, bro. You, you fucking dip. <laughs> How could you just leave us back there? I'm going to give you a serious vibe check if you don't tell us what the hell is going on in five <laughs> seconds. Vibe check. I got my, I got my ore at the ready. Uh, you guys were scaring me for one. You wanted to take my cart. You're all ganging up on me. I panicked. We were... We were just suggesting a good idea. <laughs> it didn't seem like you seemed a little hostile. And yet you came crawling back to us. Riku, roll a d4. <sighs> Shit. Two. Two? Yeah. Two. You maintain control of your emotions. Good. <laughs> but a part of you for a moment really wanted to start strangling uh, Ferguson. <laughs> but you tell yourself, too cool for that. Yeah. You stay back. Today's a new day. I want to join in the conversation, but I have social anxiety, so it doesn't. You don't join in. But you're staring. I am staring. I'm very moody, and I'm kind of stealth behind Ferguson. Okay. Yeah, just, just for shits. <laughs> you, in the woods, my murderous friend, what's the plan? At this point, there was, you saw Ferguson walk in. He wasn't hiding yeah. himself, so you know there's someone in there. Yeah. You're uh, walking in the woods. And the cold, creepy dark is starting to get to you a little bit, so. Okay, I'm going to try to pass myself off as Scary Gary. Okay. Don't want to do this, but I'm going to try to walk in <laughs> as Scary Gary. You're going to yeah. do your, your thing then? Yeah, as an actor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, you, you don't really look like Scary Gary. You also have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I would put the gun away first, though. Yeah. Also, like, when we had Scary Gary, he just had a t-shirt. He didn't have any pants or anything on, did he? Well, yeah, he did. <laughs> they were around his ankles. <laughs> Jesus, just walking around. <laughs> fucking naked from Shirt the cocking it. Okay, I since I'm dressed like Scary Gary, I'm gonna uh run from one the path going from going towards the main hall and then run towards eventually run towards cabin seven. Oh, you're gonna make that right turn and head all the way down? Yeah. But I'm making sure that I pass or pass in sight within there. Oh, good call. Okay. Uh, so I'm probably within. I'm probably too far away for them to know that. You're not. Scary I'm not Gary. scary, Gary. Okay. But they do know that scary Gary wouldn't go in there again. As a, as an actor, you do a good job of breathing heavily, like you've been running for a long yeah. time, lumbering forwards at like a bit of a heavier footfall, mm-hmm. just to get the pressure across. Everyone make perception checks. <sighs> Told you you get lots of perception checks. No, seven. 27. 22. Uh, I got an eight, but... It's hearing. Okay. Uh, 17. 17. Uh, Jessica, uh, William, and Kenneth, you all hear footsteps. You look outside and you see Scary Gary. He's running down the pathway towards uh, the rusty playground and from there down to, ca- you're assuming, one of the cabins or something. He didn't stop. He didn't look. But he's booking it. You can see. You also notice a hulking figure not far behind Scary Gary. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. Um, I I wish I cared. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to make my way to the door and yell out, Gary, over here. Come over here. I use Gary's voice and yell back, Fuck the main hall. (laughs) 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 Okay. (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm not running out there. <laughs> Yo, let's just leave Gary, bro. <laughs> that guy's been a real yeah. dick all evening. <laughs> and I just don't feel in his vibe. Agreed. And I I'll stand go. there with my coat flopping in the wind. I'm like, he's already dead. <laughs> just is like, listen, I don't like Gary either, but I, the I killer's right the there. Like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gabe. Look at the tail, bro. Uh, Damn. And as you look behind you to yell in Gary's voice, you see the killer. Okay. And then you also see the door just slam shut <laughs> <laughs> as they cement Gary's fate. Damn. Uh, let's see. What can I do? Oh, man. Logically <laughs> speaking, not. <laughs> Fuck the man. No. <laughs> what a you know what? He's <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck the man. <laughs> I'm not waiting uh, for the fucking woods when there's a murder out there. <laughs> yeah, we're also waiting for guns. I'm gonna keep running, and then at some point I'll turn back and shoot at it. You're gonna shoot at him? Yeah. Okay, roll to hit. That's a... Ooh! Ooh, Ooh that's 20. 20. Alright. Uh, roll roll damage. <laughs> he needs to shoot. That is... 15, 16, 17. 17? Yeah. Okay, you see your bullet strike and his shoulder fall backwards, but then he doesn't really react aside from that. He keeps trudging towards you. Okay. I keep running and then eventually just shooting again. Okay. Rolled hit again. It's a, uh, eight. Eight to hit. The bullet f- flies wide. How many bullets have you shot now from the gun? Oh, uh, that would be... Because of reload. Sh- I've shot four. Okay, you have two more, and then you have to reload. Okay. I know you have more ammo, so... Uh, but he keeps trudging towards you in your direction. Okay. I just keep doing the same thing. Okay. Uh, keep shooting. That's a 15. 15 hits. Sweet. Five. Five damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's still coming at you. He's closing the distance now. That's a 24. That definitely hits. 22. They definitely, definitely hit. That's a... Oh, wait. My... Fuck me. I thought my gun was... It's a D8. Yeah, I forgot to add plus six. Well, all, like, both times. 
Plus 60 both those times? Yeah. So what was the first one? Let me check my... It had just, like, I've hit it. This is the second time I've hit him, though, right? Yeah. The first time was your nat 20. So yeah. 17, so I had to add 6 to that? Yeah. And then 5 plus 6. So 20. So you took 34 in total, actually. Okay. Well, oh, it's a fucking gun. These. Okay, um, he's close to distance. He's about 30 feet away from you. Okay, now that I have to reload, I'm just booking it. Okay. Uh, where are you heading? Also, everyone inside the main hall would have heard the gunshots. And you, knowing your weapon, uh, he's gone through six rounds. Uh, leaves him with... 25 minutes. 19. 19. Also, you're kind of jealous that he got to shoot your cool gun. <laughs> I'm also really pissed that he shot me with my own gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, I will be making... Or, when we read the pier before, was there a boat there? There are canoes inside the boathouse. Okay, I'm going to run back, run to the boathouse. So I'm still going to go down like this path, but then I'll go this way and then that way. Okay, that's a bit of a walk, of probably about 15 minutes to get there. Okay. Okay. Uh, eh, you can keep the distance mm-hmm. like he's not going to gain on you but he's also yeah. not going to fall behind no matter how fast you run it's okay. weird he has like an innate ability to okay. keep up he's stalking you he's stalking you the slender man um, you race down the dirt path trees blur by you you make your way you see creepy creek and the, the bridge uh, shadowy and it looks terrifying you immediately go I ain't going down that yeah. fucking thing you make a right sharp turn you can see the next nearest fire pit not far ahead and then from there the lake uh, you hit the dirt path again they're making another right turn as you do you can see like it's weird you make that right turn and he's there at the corner you blur like by him me? no not in front of you oh. off to the side you make the right turn here and yeah. he's right there oh, shit. you don't know how he got there okay. but he doesn't do anything you rush by him and it just, like, turns and, like, starts following you again. Okay. Uh, but you see the boathouse. You're almost there. You keep going? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the bay door is still open for when that golf cart ripped out. The door is open. You see uh, three canoes. Okay. No paddles. <laughs> God, 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 God. God. <laughs> That's is a whip. Is a paddle. No. You do see a whip on the ground. <laughs> I'll quickly pick up the whip and close the door. Okay, uh, bay door is electric, so it's going to take a little bit. Starts closing slowly. The other door you can close and lock, and then you see the figure lumbering towards you as the door closes. Do I think that he'll get in before I you th- door closes? Think he has a chance. I reload. <laughs> you reload. Okay, six new shots available. Is and it- I'm standing at the like other, at the other door just in case he gets in. Isn't there isn't there one or left there? Because there was three. I took one. Zach took one. But I don't know if anyone else took one. So there might be yeah, one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> of course you agree with that, don't you? <laughs> I, don't, I don't recall, unless Jessica did. No, I think only two of us took ores. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're right. Oh, there you do see one ore, then. Yeah, I would have picked that up, then. Okay. Uh, you don't know if you have time to drag a canoe by yourself to lake before yeah. you reach see though. Yeah. You can try. It's up to you. But the bay door has to be open for the canoe, though. Yeah, and it's slowly closing, though. Okay, I'm gonna. I grab the. I grab the oar, then I go immediately back to the door, like the side door, and just wait to see if the monster is gonna be able to get in. Um, it's almost painful how long you have to stare at this door as it's closing. You can see the moonlight now high in the sky, like peering through, slowly darkening, darkening, darkening. It's seven feet from the ground, six feet from the ground, five feet from the ground. You start to feel good about it, four feet. And then it, you, feel, you see two hands like latch underneath and just easily start pushing the door back up. And you hear like gears turning and then snapping and crackling as electricity breaks. And he just shoves the door open. And you see the hulking figure step inside with you and he turns to face you. I open the door and run out. He looks annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he turns back around and like, Steps out to the bay door and he like starts doing his fucking stupid little walk. <laughs> I don't know right now. Uh, do I get? As I was running away from him here, did I get the sense that he was staying away from the water or anything like that? No, nothing you can tell. Make a perception check. Okay. You can't see shit. To the tree. You see nothing. <laughs> you have one lock left. Not gonna use it yet. Okay. All right. What you, what's the plan then? 
I'm gonna go to the pier, jump into water, and start swimming to uh, Shiver Island. Shiver Island. Okay. Uh, you jump in with a splash. It's stinging cold, but you don't care. You're not usually the prey here, so this is really <laughs> freaking you out. Um, you start swimming. Uh, you look behind you every so often, and you see him like just wade into the water. And then slowly but surely, he just sinks. And then you lose sight of him. And now every movie, Jaws, Deep Blue Sea, <laughs> they all start fucking popping yeah. in your head as you start swimming towards the lake, uh, the island in the lake. And then in uh, the main hall, what's the plan, guys? Uh, you sentence Scary Gary to his death. Uh, <laughs> there's a dead body by the mantelpiece. Uh, satanic ritual upstairs. I'm still fucking unchapped by Ferguson. Phil- Phillip's on the ground, right? Yeah, by yeah. the mantelpiece. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put him into the kitchen, you know, away from you. <laughs> Where he belongs. <laughs> cool. Um, um, you see heaps and heaps of fruits and veggies cut up by Philip himself, just sitting, well, hadn't been put out away yet. Once I put his body in the kitchen, I'll come back to the main room, like chewing on an apple or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's like nods her head in respect. <laughs> uh, she says, "We have to just wait here for the guy to come with the guns, or should we?" The best plan is to wait. Uh, while we're waiting, we can probably board up all the windows. Fortify. Good idea. And she just flips over a couch. Fuck. <laughs> and she goes to you, Rico. She says, give me a hand. Push it. We'll put it in front of the door. I am stunned that she's talking to me, but I help her. Out anyway. <laughs> You're standing there, are you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just, yes. I'm do we have any being talked to by women. Do we have any wood lying around? Uh, planks or anything? The floor? <laughs> That's yes. wood? Yes. Good idea. Let's... You could take some tear apart the floor. I don't fucking know. You could take some off the staircase. Uh, There, there's uh, uh, the only what I can think of. Like we could use is it's not here. It's at the boathouse or the abandoned cabins. Like you just tear up the floor, grab furniture. You think I care about the expenses? (laughs) (laughs) There's a hockey stick in the sports room. Good, good call, Ferguson. (laughs) That hockey stick is gonna save the day. I just know it. Is it? Just a good hockey stick? No. <laughs> you don't know why it's there. There's no rink. There's nothing. It's just, there's not even a net up there. It's just a random hockey stick. <laughs> what else is in this boarding uh, equipment room? One of those toolkits oh, okay. that uh, Brother, Brother Ferguson know is a flare gun. He only grabbed the one in the bathroom. Yeah. There's that and a hockey stick and a baseball. And that's literally it. That's literally it. It's been cleared out. Fuck. I'm going to grab the hockey stick. Okay, you now have a hockey stick. <laughs> is it a weapon? Can I use it? I got stats? Is it? No, I just threw it in there for flavor. Uh, <laughs> we'll say it does 1d4 bludgeoning. I leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Hockey isn't a good sport. Yeah. No. You're much more into ultimate frisbee, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hockey's a fucking terrific sport. You take that back. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to check the toolkit. You find a flare gun. Cool. I'll pocket that. Um, Is there, like, any desks or something I can take from the second floor? Uh, There's the dressers in Philip's room and Justin's room. Hey, yo, Kenneth, can I get some help over here? Uh, Of course, my guy. What do you need help with? Let's take these dressers and block up the windows. Sounds good. I'm going to lend him a hand and we're going to put those bad boys up. Ferguson, what are you doing during this time? Um, Laying against the wall. Um, probably by a set of stairs. Uh, I have my flare gun out of my hand, uh, just resting my resting it on my lap. And I'm, I'm 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 just laying and resting. I'm real injured. <laughs> and you forgot what hurt. it feels like to be beat up. You know, it's been so long since you felt real pain. Ever been this hurt before? <laughs> uh, you still consider your fate a blessing from your lord, but at the same time, you're like probably could have picked better timing. It seems. So you realize the pros and cons of everything. Yeah, your mortality is now in question. So you're starting to feel cautious. Uh, you see uh, Kenneth, you see Will tearing chunks of wood from dressers and boarding up walls and like putting stuff in front of doors, grabbing anything they can find. You see Jessica and Riku pushing a couch in front of the front door. She's using that same rope trick that uh, you guys use in cabin eight. Um, everyone's just boarding down the hatches, basically. Yeah, no, I'm just sitting waiting. I'll have my gun, at, my flare gun at the ready. 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes go by, 
20 minutes go by, you start to hear a noise not far away, like an engine. And if you peer out the front door or one of the top windows, you'll see a quad zipping up from the church, the direction of the church. And he comes to a halt outside, steps off, and you see a man wearing camo pants and like a white shirt with a camo jacket. He's got a shotgun in his hand and one of those hunter caps on. And he goes, hey, what the, f- where the fuck are you guys? Dad. <laughs> Duncan. No fucking, yeah, no. Uh, I'll, uh, start sliding the couch from the front door. Clyde has a duffel bag in one arm, a gun in the other, resting against his shoulder. And he just walks up the front steps. As he waits for you to push the couch away and then just kind of leisurely kicks the door open with steel toe boots and he steps in and he says, You guys cold? Uh, as soon as I see him, I'm like, I'm like, Yeah, we did, Mr. Quad. And I like bring my hand up and just salute him. <laughs> thinking he's like possibly like in the army or something. Good kid. He drops a dump bag in your arms. I like this one. <laughs> All right, what seems to be the problem? Uh, two murders outside. <laughs> Us in here. Who? Anyone else in the camp I should know about, aside from the two murderers? Everyone else that uh, I knew about has been killed. What about old lady Martha? Who the fuck is that, man? <laughs> <laughs> old lady Martha, she lives not far. She comes here every night. You guys haven't seen her yet? No. Oh, she's probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> she's some creepy old bag, rides her fucking bike here from town. It's weird. It's like 20 miles every day. I don't know why the hell she does it. Comes here babbling about curses and murderers. She's even freakier you know, than that priest I gave my number to. That seems pretty relevant. <laughs> we should probably find her. Like, I'm, If you want to, she's probably dead. Where Where does she usually go? All over, man. I'm honestly surprised she hasn't come earlier this week. I heard you kids were down here. Knowing her, she'd probably be down by the cabins, trying to get as much attention as possible. She likes to freak the kids out, kind of makes her feel good about herself. Nice to know. <laughs> anyway, he brought some guns. You want them? Or... <laughs> I want a gun. Okay, his duffel. He has a I, shotgun. His duffel bag has a shotgun. I there. opened the duffel bag he gave to me. Yeah, there's another shotgun in there, uh, three pistols, uh, and one rifle. I take the rifle. I take a pistol and a shotgun. Can I find some tape? Uh, like some hockey tape or... I, I think you I find hockey tape wrapped around the hockey stick. Sweet. Okay, okay. I'll take the hockey tape. And Can I'm gonna tape bang. the machete under the front of the... <laughs> <laughs> and it's completely blocking the scope. But now it's a fucking... Bayonet. Busker. Bayonet. Yeah. So... That's fucking gorgeous, <laughs> my man. Just... Why... <laughs> okay, so... The so rifle is a plus three range weapon. It deals awesome. 2d8. Plus your decks. Uh, shotgun, we already said, deals 2d12. It's plus 2. And the pistols are plus 1 range weapons that deal. Just 1d8. Rifles plus, rifles plus 3? Yeah, that's Holy the plus shit. 3. Holy shit. And it deals 2d8. Holy shit. I was talking about pistol as well. Okay, uh, that leaves Jessica with no gun. <laughs> Oh no! There's a third pistol. That's yeah, right. there is. Okay, she'll take the third pistol. But Why she's still we give got her... her the rifle if she's really gonna like? She oh, does it. kind of like reach for it, but then Riku <laughs> snatches it up. She kind of like frowns, and then she's just like, does that girly eye roll, like boys, and then just takes the pistol. Jessica, are you sure you can handle a gun? <laughs> it's a little bit different than a bow and stick or whatever you call she, it. She like grabs the pistol in her hand, cocks it, and then points it at you, Kenneth. And she says, "It's weird." Not even shaking. I think I can handle it. <laughs> Holy fuck. Jessica's Didn't know you... <laughs> Jessica's a fucking badass, man. <laughs> Didn't know you had awesome... <laughs> what? It's no. It's Parkinson's. It's Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I was going to say either that or... Um... Oh, never mind. Actually, it's totally kind of thing yeah. to say. Just get as fucking... Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> she just goes like, you're never fucking... Mind. You're lucky you're cute, Kenneth. <laughs> and then uh, she... Flicks the safety back on and then turns face everyone. Oh, she turned the safety off too. Bob. She yeah. was right about to fucking kill you, dude. Yeah, she like, <laughs> oh it into like into her uh, waistband and then she I, pulls out her bow and arrows. She I, says, "Should we go look for this old bag or wait yeah. here? We have a good place to fall back to, but we need to know more about this killer. Why? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. You're here for the dude in the flannel." I'm assuming so. Either that or Todd. They don't even, you don't even know what you're looking for? I just know that there was a killer that was supposed to be here. And now there's two. 
<laughs> yeah, not really what you bargained for, is it? All right, listen. Um, <clears throat> let's check the playground and then just make our way down from there and then we'll curve back up along the lake. Maybe we can grab some canoes. Maybe this guy can't swim. Maybe we can just go to the island. <laughs> Segway over <laughs> to <laughs> you. Hurriedly swimming your way towards the island. That's not far off now. You've nearly reached it, but you can't get that haunting feeling out of the yeah. back of your head that there, someone's about to grab you, right? Yeah. You, you feel it. You know it. Mm-hmm. So it just spurs you on more despite the yeah. burn. Uh, you do manage to reach it there just fine, though. Awesome. Clamber board, and now you can definitely see the light of the roaring bonfire. Okay. Um, you make your way stumbling along the beach into the small little bit of woodland. You see the fire. It's huge. Uh, and you just see some dude passed out, snoring. He's sleeping on a sack of uh, mater- of gear, and he's just. It lo- he looks like he's dirty. He's been. He looks like a hiker, like he's, and he's made his own little warm fire, and he's passed right out. He's not a camp counselor, I recognize, or anything like no, that. No, you've never seen him before in your life. Kill him. Okay, I wake him up, like shake him, shake him. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, must have dozed off there, man. Hey, sorry about that. Who are you? Dude, there, there's a monster that chased me. Or like a big burly guy with a, a machete or... Whoa, 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 axe. whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, buddy. Slow down, slow down. There's a what? There's a big burly guy in flannel that's been chasing me the last 25 minutes. No, for the, the entire night, pretty much. And he was following me across the lake. Following you across the lake? Like on his way here now? Yeah. Uh, he can see the fear in your eye, and he seems like a nice enough guy. Like, he believes you instantly. Um, he say, he's like, don't worry, I got my trusty machete. <coughs> should help us just fine. And he looks around, and he's like, where the fuck's my machete? <laughs> and then that's when you remember that that fucking killer has a machete. Yeah. <laughs> or did. Uh, but he starts rummaging through his stuff. He's like, fuck, I knew I should have gone hiking in the fucking mountains. Uh, he has a flashlight on him. You can see a flash of a medicine kit. Uh, he has his walking stick, his big bag with a rifle strapped to the side. He says, listen, maybe you're fucking with me, but I've learned over the years that when you hitchhike, don't take chances with people. So let's get the fuck out of here. I got my boat tied up not far from here. Sure, sounds good. <laughs> get up that rifle already. Why? You, is this dude like... Really, I really need a rifle for this guy? I fought him three fucking times. Did I hit him three times or two times? Twice. I think I hit him twice. In my mind. I mean, like, in Todd's mind. Okay. I hit him three fucking times. Dude, would still chase at me as fast as he could. Seems like a far-fetched thing, but if you insist, and he pulls out the rifle, and he, like, looks, make sure it's loaded, uh, gets it ready, says, okay, like, how long do we have? Oh, fuck! <laughs> and then that's when you, you see his eyes widen behind you is the hulking figure okay. dripping wet with water and he's just lumbering towards you guys with his axe in, one, in both hands. And um, the camper goes, time to run! And he turns around and he just <laughs> fucking leaves you. He just fucking runs towards the beach. Uh, you can go after him if you yeah, want. Yeah, I, I chase after him. Okay, yeah, you guys tear through the little shrubbery and like trees that are there and he bursts through and there's a little bit of sandy beach and you see, the, he was honest, he has like a little like a uh, canoe, a little more rundown than the ones you guys have at camp, and he's like clamoring. He's throwing his bag in there, and he he's like getting in. He's starting to push it off. He's like, "Hurry the fuck up, fuck up, man! This fuck crazy dude's right there." <laughs> yeah, I just hurry up and jump in. Okay, you jump in. The boat rattles underneath yeah. of you, but he like starts like taking his walk stick. He's pushing it, and I'll help too because I have the paddle. Right, you push the paddle, and you guys like slide across the water, and then um, he starts like he's freaking out he's using his walking stick to try and paddle this thing because he's like freaking out and then you use yours and you guys start to like make your way across he goes seems out of place but my name's georgie i guess <laughs> todd todd toddly oh, it's pretty down here <laughs> <laughs> and and then like as we we're on our way i just start shooting at the, okay yeah like, yeah so um uh georgie hands you his rifle he says you fucking shoot this guy i'll get us out of here and awesome. he takes the paddle and the figure is just standing on the shoreline, okay. watching, starting to wade into the water again. Oh. Yeah, I sh- just treated it with the rifle then. Okay, roll the hit. What's the rifle? Uh, a rifle is a plus three ranged weapon. Three, so 21 plus... That hits. Yeah, okay. So you deal 2d8 plus your dex. Six plus three and then plus another three. 
It's a 12. Okay. Uh, you watch as it clips him in the face, because he's up about this deep in the water now, and his head falls back, and then slowly lolls back forward and disappears under the water. And it uh, leaves you and your new friend, Georgie, who is currently freaking out, I think, reasonably. Uh, and he's like, oh, man, I'm a, I was on a three-day hiking trip. I was making a stop here, and then I was going to hit the highway, try and hitchhike back up the town. What the fuck happened? I have no idea that this killer, uh, mirror, whatever it is, just happened to start come out and start killing people. I mean, like, five people died back at the camp. Five people? What? Yeah. What? I didn't know there was a camp around here. <laughs> yeah, it's called Camp Fear. That's a fucked up name for a camp. Yeah. Kind of fitting now, I think. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Uh, he's paddling. He's slowed down now. He's not so worried. He thinks you, uh, as far as he's concerned, that guy's gone now. I tell him that, like, he went, that the monster or guy went under the water and was walking. You went under the water and was walking. That's how he got here, too, before. He starts to pick up the pace a little bit. He's a little wary, uh, but he trusts you because, as you said, some giant dude lumbered up. Uh, and you guys are slowly making your way back to shore. doesn't take long. Like uh, on this side or where at? Uh, where, you tell him where. I, I, we, we were just going to go whichever way his boat was pointed, I think. He was heading straight back to the pier because he okay. wants to make it to the highway <laughs> now. Like He's going with his normal plan. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't take long. You guys do reach the pier. Uh, he tries, he starts like tying the boat up, like yeah. just have it. So he starts like taking rope. I tell him to just leave it. Just, oh, okay. Uh, just in he, case we need to go back that way. Okay. Uh, you clamber up onto the pier. Um, and he starts handing you the paddle because yeah. that was yours. He hands you the walking stick. And as he's reaching, grab his bag, he like throws it up. And as it's like, sailing in the air, the water explodes beside the canoe as, like, this arm reaches out and grabs your new friend Georgie by the back of his collar. And Georgie goes, what the fuck? And then he falls over the edge. I use my axe to just slam on the arm that it grabs. I mean, the the arm that grabbed him. Okay, roll the hit. Oh my god. I'll use expertise. Expertise? I mean, uh, lucky. Lucky? Yeah, because that was a nat one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is... Fuck, that's only a 12. You miss. Your axe swings down, just misses the murderer's arm, and you swing, you almost... The momentum almost sends you over the edge of the pier as well, and by the time you reassert yourself, the waves are beginning to settle, as Georgie has disappeared. He did. He did. The boat is overturned. Uh, what did he hand you again? The bag, the walking stick, and the oar? Yeah. Okay. And I still have the rifle. Yeah, yeah. Everything else in the boat was tipped underwater, though. And you don't really feel like you should stick yeah. around to find out. Too bad. George just seemed like a nice guy. Uh, I will go to... guess I'll go to Cabin 7. Cabin 7? Yeah. Okay. Uh, start making your way along the beach. Uh, about halfway... Like, along the path between yeah. the fire pit and the pier. The water explodes again. Uh, and you see Georgie <laughs> flying out of the water, screaming. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make this as gruesome as possible. Uh, uh, you can see that there's a lot of blood, but you don't know where it's coming from at first. And then you look down and you notice that his legs are missing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and he starts screaming and he's like clawing. He's like, fucking help me, man. Fuck, I don't know what to do. Uh, like, is this back at the pier? No, you're about halfway between the pier and the fireplace. The yeah. fireplace. Like, the fire where, pit. where was he, though? Um, So you're halfway along the beach here. Yeah. And he exploded right there. So you're about there. He's there. Okay. Cr- trying to climb up the surf. His legs are gone. He's bleeding profusely. He's screaming. The water is not settling, though. Okay. I'm gonna... I say, I'm sorry about this, and I just treat him to kill him. <laughs> you shoot him? Yeah. Okay, rolled in. Gotta gain that experience. <laughs> That's a... Uh, 15. 15? Uh, sails straight through his right eye. Okay. Oh, fuck. And the scream stopped just in time for the hulking figure's arm to reach up and drag George's now lifeless body back into the water. Okay. And I, I, I... Oh, if I see it, then I'm just gonna shred it again. You don't. It's okay. mostly just its arm. And okay. it, like, drags it down. 
Uh, that's where we'll end uh, this episode. Holy fuck, of dude. Bad 20. Holy fuck.